Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over some very simple examples with you in Excel that will show you how you can use decision trees to make investment decisions. Let's go. So this question pertains to a situation where you've just developed a new product and you're thinking whether you should do test marketing for it or not. So take a look. Uh, your startup company has developed a new mesh network. Uh, if successful, the present value of the payoff that you're going to get is 33.1 million. However, if the mesh network fails, the present value of the payoff is just going to be $11.1 million. Now, if the product goes to market directly, there's only a 60% chance of success. However, the company can also delay the launch by one year and spend $1.21 million to test the market for the mesh network. Test marketing would allow the firm to improve the product and increase the probability of success to 90%. You're told that the appropriate discount rate is 10%. The question is, what is the NPV of going to the market directly? And what is the NPV of test marketing before going to market? And then which option would you recommend? So at some level, this is a pretty straightforward question because you really have two options. You can either go to the market directly, in which case the success probability is only 60%, or you can spend $1.21 million, wait one year, and then launch the product. The nice thing about that is that your success chances are higher, 90%. What I mean by that is that you can either launch the product today, in which case there is a 60% chance of success or a 40% chance of failure. That's one option. Or you can wait one year. So here you are at time period zero. You'll wait one year. Here you will be spending $1.21 million. And then one year later, you can again launch the product. Only now there is a 90% chance that you will succeed. Only a 10% chance that you will fail. And the payoffs that you will get in the event of success and failure are given to you. If you calculate the NPV here, and then if you calculate the NPV here, what you would need to do is bring this back one year, net out the 1.21, and then compare whether this number is greater than this number. And so this is exactly what I'm going to show you. So the first thing that I'm doing here is that I'm writing down all the inputs that are given to me. So for example, the present value of the payoffs that I will get in millions in the event of success is 33.1 million, in the event of failure is 11.1 the probability of getting this payoff if I go to market directly is 60%. However, the probability with test marketing is 90%. The cost of test marketing doesn't depend on whether it's a success or a failure. So that's the same $1.21 million. And similarly, the discount rate is 10% as well. That doesn't change with success or failure either. So if I launch the product directly today, then there's a 60% chance that I will get this payoff. There's a 40% chance that I will get this payoff. So the expected NPV is simply 60% times this plus 40% times this payoff. And one way to do it in Excel, in fact, a nice way of doing it in Excel is using a function called sum product. If you do sum product, it asks you which values do you want to multiply and then add. So if I highlight these payoffs and then highlight these probabilities, what Excel does is that it first takes a product of 60% and 33.10, 40% and 11.10, so that's the product, and then it sums them up, hence the function sum product. Now you can also calculate the expected NPV after the test marketing. The math would be similar, so you do equal to sum product. You would again highlight the payoffs that you would get in success or failure. However, after the test marketing, the payoff, the probability of success would be higher. The probability of failure would be lower. So your expected payoff would obviously be higher. No surprises there. However, like I said before, you would only be getting this payoff one year later and only after you have incurred the cost of test marketing today. And so the right way of doing it would be to use the present value function where your discount rate is 10%. You are going to be discounting this payoff one year back. So the number of time periods is going to be one. And of course you don't have a payment, but you do have a future value, which is this $31 million approximately. And I'm going to enter this with a negative sign so that my answer comes out to be a positive number. And once I have this, this will just give me the present value. I will still need to subtract the cost of test marketing, which is 
So if I do that, I get $26.88 million. Now this number is directly comparable to this 24.30. And because this number is higher, we can say do the test marketing. Why? Because the payoff with test marketing is going to be higher. All right, let's do one more. Your firm is considering launching a new product. If the product goes directly to market, there's only a 60% chance of success. However, for $182,000, your firm can conduct a focus group that will increase the product's chance of success to 75%. Another option is to pay a consulting firm $397,000 to research the market and refine the product, which increases the chances of success to 90%. If the firm successfully launches the product, the payoff will be 1.97 million. If the product is a failure, however, the NPV is going to be zero. The question is, what course of action would you suggest the firm take? Now, please note that in this case, there is no discount rate given to us, unlike the previous question. And also notice that it doesn't say that if you do a focus group, you have to wait one year or two years. And similarly, it also doesn't say that if you hire a consulting firm, you have to wait a year or two before you can launch the product. So in this question, the underlying assumption is that once you do a focus group or if you do hire a consulting company, almost instantaneously they can provide you some feedback tweak the launch and increase the chances of success so everything is happening basically at time period zero so as before what i've done is that i've written down the present value of all the payoffs that i'm going to get in the event the product launch is a success or a failure the probabilities depend on whether i'm directly launching the product or whether i'm doing a focus group or whether i'm hiring a consulting company the cost of the focus group is given the cost of hiring the consulting company is given as well. And at some level, this is a rather simple exercise. So for example, if I ask you, what is the expected NPV that I can get if I go to the market directly? You'd say, ah, that's simply 60% times 1.97 plus 40% times zero. And as I just showed you, this is like using the sum product function in which I will highlight these numbers first, and then I will highlight these numbers. And that's it. And once I do that, lo and behold, $1.182 million. I can actually copy this formula and paste it here. Once I do that, the way I've done it is that I've locked these cell references, but I moved the formula down so it changed the probability. So if I do a focus group, the expected payoff is obviously higher. However, focus group is not free. I do need to subtract from this number the cost of the focus group this will give me the true payoff from doing the focus group. So if I do that, I get 1.295. I can actually copy this formula and paste it here. Notice that as I do this, I have again taken the same payoffs, just increased the probability of success. And in the end, I'm subtracting the cost of hiring the consulting company, which is $397,000. And so that gives me the NPV of 1.376. As you can see, 1.376 is higher than the payoffs that I would get from the other two options. And so our recommendation would be hire the consulting firm. That's the best option. All right, so because we're having so much fun, let's do one more. Very similar to the first one. This one, not on test marketing, but uh, market research, same idea. So let's suppose that your company has created a new data analytics software if the firm goes directly to market, there's only a 60% probability of success. However, if the firm can conduct some customer segment research, which will take a year and cost 1.27 million, then it can increase the chances of success. Specifically, it says that it will increase the probability of success to 75%. Why? Because your company will be able to better target potential customers, which makes sense. It also tells you that if the product is successful, the software will bring in a present value profit of $19.7 million. However, if it is not successful, the present value of the payoff is only going to be $6.7 million. So assuming that the appropriate discount rate is 14%, which option would you suggest the firm take? As you can see, this problem is very similar to the first one we did where the firm was thinking of doing test marketing or not. And so I am simply going to walk you through my solution the inputs are given, the payoffs in the event of success and failure, the probabilities of success and failure, depending on whether the firm goes to market directly or whether it does market research. Obviously, the probability of success is higher with market research. The cost of market research 
is given 1.27 regardless of success and failure the discount rate is given if the firm goes to market directly the expected npv is simply 60 percent times 19.7 plus 40 percent times 6.7 so that's using the sum product function however if the firm does test marketing take a look at what i've done here i've sort of consolidated my calculations here so if you take a look I'm saying first take the present value of this sum product, which is the expected NPV that I will get one year from now. So that is why I'm discounting this expected NPV one year back at my discount rate of 14%. And once I do, then I'm further netting out the cost of market research from that. When you do this math, you find that the NPV of test marketing is 13.159 million. As you can see, this is less than the payoff that you would get from launching the product directly. And so our recommendation here would be don't do the test marketing, go to market directly. And so there you go. Some very simple problems using decision trees. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.